Hey guys, hope you're doing good, what with COVID and everything. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. I know that some places are doing better than others, but hopefully you're doing your best to socially distance and stay healthy and safe. So today I'm going to be going over my Game Boy collection, or at least what I brought from my hometown to here. I left duplicates, uh, duplicate consoles and games back in my place as well as some games that I just didn't really touch that much. And I brought my main games that I like to play here to my home. So we're going to start off with the consoles. Um, I have pretty much every single generation of Game Boy. Only thing is I don't have that Game Boy Lite. So starting off, we've got our original Game Boy. Now this bad boy right here is absolutely beautiful. Uh, it's probably the best condition one I have. It runs all the games flawlessly. No lines through the screen. Um, and the screen is actually pretty scratch free too, honestly. Like, I was pretty happy with that myself. Um, and the sound is amazing. I mean, I would show you, but I keep batteries out of the consoles unless I'm using them because I don't want them to explode. I don't know how old the batteries are or the quality of the batteries, so I'd rather keep them out of the console while I'm not using it because batteries just love to explode when you least expect it. Moving on, we have the Game Boy Pocket. I have the red colored one. Um, this was a small upgrade from the original Game Boy. It runs off of two AAA batteries instead of the four double A's um, and it had a white background in contrast to like the greenish color that the original Game Boy had um, which allowed for better visuals for in terms of the contrast wheel because black and and white versus black and green obviously you're gonna get better contrast out of black and white moving on we've got the Game Boy Color I brought the purple one here uh, to my new place um, and gotta say I love it. I just love the color in general. One of my favorite colors by far. And uh, I left, I have a second one of these. It's like an atomic purple. It's like a see-through translucent purple. I left that back at my hometown. So yeah, another amazing console. Love this one. Moving on, we have my Game Boy Advance. This is another translucent model. And I just, I love, I love the landscape horizontal grip factor it's kind of i'm kind of sad they got rid of it when they went to the sp but the sp at the same time introduced this amazing form factor the clamshell so yeah this is my game boy advance so moving on to the previously mentioned clamshell design game boy advance sp this is the ags 101 model meaning it has a backlight And I also have another model. It's an AGS 001 uh, special any uh, like a special edition Game Boy Advance SP. It's an NES skin clamshell original. I even have the box for it. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. But I figured, why bring two? Might as well keep that somewhere safe back in my home. So first up, we've got Metroid 2. This game's pretty fun. I mean, um, not everyone liked it. If I'm not mistaken like there was like a bit of like conflict about its gameplay style um but ultimately this game is really fun in my opinion um and i would recommend it to anyone who has a game boy to add to their collection next i have castlevania adventure this game honestly i have played it so much it's not in great condition because someone decided to put crayon on the back of it and when i first got it i tried my best to get best to get rid of it and i did to an extent but it's still clearly there um, but honestly, having this in condition isn't too important to me. Just being able to play it is good enough because this game is just so amazing. And Netflix just came out with Castlevania, Netflix original animated show, which is just great. It actually inspired me to play this game once more, which is why it's actually in my Game Boy Carry case. <laughs> so, yeah. Now moving on, I'm sure you guys are wondering, okay, he has the consoles, he has Castlevania Adventure, but does he have my favorite Pokemon game from my childhood? Well, probably, because right here in front of me, I've got a copy of Pokemon Blue and Pokemon Red. Uh, red's a little bit worn down on the top. I don't know if you can see it, it's just a little white up at the top, a little lightened up. Blue is pretty much mint condition. Um, well, no, it is mint condition, so high quality, and I've replaced all the batteries on these two, so really happy about that. Great games, love them both. Then I have two mint condition copies of Pokemon Yellow, another amazing addition. Oh, this one's upside down. Another amazing addition to the uh, Pokemon series and franchise on the Game Boy. 
Moving on from that, well, I'll probably shake it up a little bit. No, I'm just kidding. We're going to look at Pokemon Silver and Pokemon Gold. Um, some honestly amazing games. Uh, I honestly hadn't really touched these until I decided to go get into my retro phase, uh, which is when I went on Kijiji and eBay and started collecting these things. Um, and I think it was right around when Soul Silver came out because I was like, whoa, a remake of an original game that I haven't played before. After I play this, I want to play the original. And then I just kind of wound up buying a bunch of them. So yes, gold and silver. Next, I have crystal. Now, when I said I replaced the batteries, I didn't do it with the soldering iron. I was really young and I couldn't afford a soldering machine or tool. So uh, I used electrical tape, which is like the second best thing if you don't have any of those tools. Um, it's very affordable. It just doesn't look that great if you have a translucent card such as crystal. Unfortunately, you can see the little black stripe right here, but I still love the game. So that is my um, Game Boy and Game Boy Color Pokemon collection. Now we're gonna move on to some of my other games that I brought with me, ones that I really love. So the Wario Land franchise, I had no clue about this franchise until I, until I started collecting retro hand like retro handhelds and uh, Game Boy games and such. But this game series grew on me so much. I bought this one just because like, whoa, Wario Land, let's try it out. I played it, finished it, and instantly I ordered Wario Land 2 and 3. Once I got those, I beat them instantly. This game series, I would recommend to anybody who enjoys Super Mario but's getting a little bit bored of that repetitive playstyle because this puts a huge twist on it and it's really interesting to play. Uh, next we have Kirby's Dream Land, a classic game. If you don't have it in your Game Boy collection, I highly recommend you do. It's pretty common to find, it's not hard to find. It's really easy to add to your collection. Next, I've got Super Mario Land 1 and 2. Love these games. And in fact, I think I got this one with a Game Genie because it actually has cheat codes on the back of it, funnily enough. So that's pretty that's pretty interesting. Good investment, I guess. Next up, I've got some Legend of Zelda games. I've got Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, and I have Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Deluxe Edition. This one actually, from what I've heard, can go for quite a buck. So I'm happy that I've got these both in my collection. Uh, Legend of Zelda is an amazing game. I personally have played more so the DS games than I have anything else, but um, what with, you know, re like remastered versions of the games coming out on the Switch, and uh, with the series still continuing to thrive, I think it's important that you go back to the roots of the series. Moving on, I've got another case here that contains my Game Boy Advance games. So if you're wondering if I have Game Boy Advance games, yes I do. Otherwise, why would I have the other consoles? So, first up we got the WarioWare Inc. Very popular game. Um, people loved this game and that's part of why it got, I don't know not why it's not focusing. Try. Whatever, I tried. Um, but this game was so popular that it got integrated as a map into Smash Bros, if that tells you anything. Then I've got Kirby Nightmare in Dreamland, another good game to play. Another Legend of Zelda game, we've got Link to the Past, Four Swords, great classic game. Moving on, we've got Donkey Kong Country 1, 2, and 3. Honestly, um, I was never a huge fan of Donkey Kong Country uh, as a kid, but when I saw online that someone was selling package deal it was like forty dollars for the nes edition uh game boy advance sp ags 001 alongside a bunch of box games and the donkey kong country advance one through three for forty dollars i had to make the drive and go pick it up so they're in my collection now <laughs> uh and then we've also got pokemon emerald and pokemon sapphire now unfortunately i lost my pokemon ruby i have no clue where it went uh, I'm kind of bummed out about it because if I had it, that would mean I have every single Pokemon game in the Game Boy franchise, but I'm sadly missing a singular one, which is oddly hard to find too. So a little irritating, but we've also got Pokemon Fire Red and Leaf Green, excellent games, remakes of the originals. And I really liked how they went for Leaf Green because in Japan, they actually released blue, red, and green. But in North America, when they released the games, they didn't think that that green Venusaur monster would be appealing uh, for, you know, moms to pick out games for their kids. Moms would look at the game cartridges and say, whoa, a cool dragon or a a turtle with giant cannons on his shoulders or a leaf monster. So obviously they didn't think that, um, you know, leaf green or green would sell well. So they didn't, they didn't release green in North America. You can actually get Japanese copies of those. So they sold red and blue instead, just those two. 
in North America. So it was interesting how they brought this kind of form factor into the series. I really do like that. So I know this is a short video, but that is all of my collection that I brought here. I have so much stuff back home. I've got trinkets like that attach to Game Boys that act as lights. I'm not even talking talking about worm cables. I'm talking about like whole pieces you would clip on to your Game Boy, and they had lights on the sides that would act as front lights. And I've got like you know other link cables and stuff. And I'm not showing that stuff in this video. Um, I've got duplicate consoles, so I've got like the second Game Boy Color and the second Game Boy Advance. SP, AGS001, alongside like three other original Game Boys, um, and some box games that I just didn't bring here because I don't play them that often, so there wouldn't be much of a point. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and comment down below what your favorite Game Boy game was when you were a kid, or maybe you're not a kid, you weren't a kid, but what your favorite Game Boy game was, and maybe even your favorite console. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Sorry for not uploading in a year. <laughs> see ya.